Well, we learned an awful lot. We found all four corners. Found the original rebar. When Weyerhaeuser bought all this land from the Indian tribe and subdivided it in 1959. So that stake's been there since 59. 207 feet that way. 207 feet and six inches is another one. And about 415 that way. So I uh, brought a bunch of posts up to drop off at Daryl's and Vera's house. And we brought a gas auger up and it just goes right down till it hits rocks. And my boar pig and my cat will lift these up. But a little two stroke one man uh, post hole auger is not gonna do it. I think we could make it work though. Just move over a little bit and there's probably a, not a rock there. The rocks aren't everywhere, but they are where they are. So what we're gonna have to do is, Carol and I are gonna have to bring the camp trailer up here. And park it underneath that tree. And that tree over there is about in the middle of the property. And slide the, uh, the shed off, hook it onto the tree and drive out from under it and park the camp trailer next to it and then just try to work on this fence four or five days at a time and just bring more posts up with us as we come. You can see where, you know, some squatters or something were living here at one time, but here's the good news. Uh, let's see, I'm standing on the neighbor's property now, and it goes down this hill. And you can see that wellhead right there. So, that's fantastic news. There's water here. The person that dr drilled the well is a friend of a friend. And they're going to text us back the water master's report on that. And an estimate on what it's going to be to put in a well here. I'm assuming it'll be just right in here somewhere so there's kind of a gentle rise the house will go up at the top and then the septic system will go the other way drain towards the other road <laughs> so the soil is interesting uh, septic should work well it should perk really well it's all sand and it's got rock in it but a great big rock so this it rained up here for three days in a row and uh it was raining up here yesterday. You see how fast it drains. So a septic system ought to be less expensive when you've got soil that perks. So that is our, our goal is to get the, the fence up and the shed sitting here. And here in this county, you've got to have all your digging done by, I think, October 1st. So whether we can get the septic in before winter or not, I don't know. Uh, you can have an outhouse, but it just can't be your only, your only source if you're living here full time. And that's the burn of 2015. all national forest behind us so I'll get on the horse and go get lost up there hop on the quad great fishing in the Twin Rivers area and uh, great elk hunting just a great place to be and so there's half a dozen off-grip neighbors some are in various stages of building a home. It's pretty quiet and peaceful here. So we're going to drop off these posts at a friend's house and we're going to head home and try to get back up here sometime in the next couple of weeks. Have a blessed night.